Hi, welcome to Shogni Systems. Today we are going to see a very easy way to self-host our own automation platform. We will use NA10, which is very powerful and they also offer their own hosted service. Okay, so this is uh, NA10 website. So this is similar to make.com, Zapier, etc. No code automation platform, but this is very powerful and it is open source. So you can self-host this on your own server. So you know these days you get uh, servers almost free. Like Oracle has got a uh, free server available which you can sign up to get or DigitalOcean where you get for $5 you get a server $5 a month. So we'll use for today's exercise DigitalOcean. If you already have a server, uh, you can use that as well. Okay, so this is NA10 site and we will look at their documentation and see how to self-host. So let's search for NA10 Digital Ocean. So here is the step-by-step -step procedure to install N8 and on your own server. So for that first what we need to do is we will visit a DigitalOcean website. I have already got an account and I have created a project demo and within the demo I don't have any uh, instance running. So we will start fresh. We will create an instance. Create and we will create a droplet which is a single server instance. Okay, so we will use data center uh, New York 1 because I have already got a reserved IP in this location. And we will, from the marketplace, we will pick a Docker pre-installed Ubuntu instance so that we don't need to install Docker ourselves. Okay, and uh, here we will use regular SSD and this is six dollars per month okay and I have also added my SSH public key here from my Mac in your case you can choose a password mechanism to log into the instance as well and if you don't have a terminal using which you can access the server you can they also provide a cloud a web-based console which also can be used. So for now I will use the SSH key based access and rest everything we leave it as it is. So let's wait for it to load. Okay so the droplet is being created. Okay so now here we have an IP address for this droplet. Let's copy that and assign it to our domain name. I'm logging to points to our IP address. Okay, so n a ten dot my domain name which is three dot cc will point to our newly created droplet. We will see why we need that. Okay, so that is done. Okay, so n a ten is pointing to our domain. Now let's come back to our Bluehost. Okay, so our droplet is ready. Okay, and we have the IP address. So we will use the IP address to get inside the droplet. So how do we get in? SSH, rule SSH minus I, and I will use my private key, root at the newly created droplets IP address. Let's confirm the IP address. It is ending in 32. Okay, so... Okay, perfect. I am inside the newly created droplet. Now what we will do is we will look at the documentation and follow step by step to get... So first I will add my username to the server so that we don't need to log in as root every time. 
Okay, so but now we will not be able to log into this server because we need to also copy the SSH key into this folder. So what for that what we will do is we will view the public key that was copied from my Mac rogue slash dot SSH like this we will copy it and SU3 I am in my home directory I will SSH key I will execute SSH key gen so that the folder gets created and now nano dot ssh authorized authorized keys okay so authorized keys i will open and paste paste the public key of my server let me now exit out of this server to confirm if he can log in as the newly created user 3. Okay, so we are now logged in as uh, user. Let's see what is the next step. Now, what we need to do is we need to clone the repo. Okay, so And let's confirm that the Docker engine is running. Okay, so we need sudo to check Docker. Okay, Docker engine is running and we have cloned the N84 repo, which is here. And all the information that you need, the steps and the URLs, etc., are available in our community section for you to download and follow these steps. Okay, so now we have got, now let's cd into that uh, folder. Now let's open port 80 and port 443. Now let's create an env file. So directory path is home slash 3. Domain name is 3.cc and subdomain is n8. Rest we can leave it as it is. Okay, so now what we need is we need to create the caddy file and let's add our domain name okay so that is it so we have used git to clone the uh, repo and added some configuration as per the documentation and then we are now starting the application. Let's wait for it to complete. It is pulling the Docker images to start the containers. Uh, N8N application also installs the caddy uh, mechanism which allows you to have SSL access onto your N8N automation platform. So, which makes it secure access. So, okay, the so application is running sudo docker ps. So, we have two containers running. Now, how do we access this? Let's go to our browser and browse n8n.3.cc. Do you see this? In a matter of few minutes, you have your own self-hosted N8 and platform. Okay, so let's answer these questions. Let's start from scratch. So test the workflow. Yes.
it's working so now what we will do is next video so this is the first video in our series of cost effective uh, self hosted automation next video we will see how we can self host our own saas application platform so this along with saas will give a very powerful combination for you to go online offer your services in a very cost effective way and remember all the resources documentation pdf cheat sheet are all available for you to download in our free community section so please join our community section and also please subscribe to our youtube channel you will get all these videos in an organized way in our youtube channel so please like share and subscribe and give your valuable comments see you again in another video like this bye bye